For this demonstration, we're going to learn about how to do a watercolor wash. As you remember last week, we made this very cool cityscape with our oil pastels, and then we flipped our paper in half and rubbed it with either a spoon or the back of a scissors to transfer the picture over to the other side. And as I see, I didn't get my moon or my stars in there, so I must not have done those ones. So let me transfer those real quick so we make sure we get them. There we go, now they're on there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make some watercolor washes. So at your table, you should have um, a set of watercolors, look something like this. It should have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black, but we're not going to use those just yet. You should have one paintbrush, you should have a little bitty water cup, and a big clean water cup, and then you're going to have a paper towel to do some blotting with. So first things first, you're going to take your color, and you're going to get a little bit of water into this little cup, okay? And I'll help you pour that, or we can help you pour it. You can also take the cup water out of this, the top of that cup. What you're going to do is you're going to first take some blue, and you're going to wiggle your brush right tip right around on that blue tip. You don't want to smash it down, and you always want to be holding your brush nicely with your fingers behind the ferrule. That's the metal part right here. So you always want to be holding your brush right behind there so that you're holding it nicely. You don't want to hold it too far back and you don't want to hold it too far forward because otherwise you'll get paint all over your fingers. So you're just going to take a little bit of blue and we're going to wash it into the sky watch. I'll just take this and quickly wash it right into the sky. You're going to be really careful. I'm going to just get some more water and kind of uh, water it down a little bit. And you notice that as you go over your oil pastel, your oil pastel should push away the watercolor. Notice that I'm always pulling my brush. I'm never pushing it, I'm always pulling it. Now we're going to take our paper while it's still wet. We're going to fold it over and we're going to smush it. And that should transfer some of that watercolor over to the bottom. Now we're going to take some other colors. I'm going to take some red. I'm going to paint the red, really light, watery red, in where my yellow windows are. So I'm going to take my red and paint it in where my windows are, yellow. And the thing about this technique of folding your paper over is you have to do it while your watercolors are still wet. So you have to do it a couple times. Here we go, we're going to fold this one over, the red, okay, and then open it up. Then I'm going to get some yellow into the buildings that have orange windows. So we have our warm colored buildings and windows. Whoops. I did the wrong window or wrong building there. Okay, I'm gonna flip that in half and squish it. Then I'm gonna get some orange into the buildings that are red windowed. So here's my red windowed building. And here's my other red windowed building that I already did, oops. And I'm going to get a little orange over here because this building doesn't have any windows in it yet. And I'm going to smush that one down. And that should be the end of our cityscape. So now you've got the cityscape transferred over to this side, so it's a mirror image. You've got your cityscape drawn in here, and you've got your transferred image down there. Now when you're done, you wash out your brush, you blot it on your paper towel so there's no dirty messiness, and whoever is in charge brings these back. Your dirty water cup gets dumped into your dirty water cup container like this so that there's no water left in these little ones. And this one then it isn't too full and you can dump that away. And then your clean water cup might have a little clean water in it or not. These should be nice and clean when you're done. And just to let you all know, a, an empty 
um, watercolor container looks like this. It looks like this one with no paint left in it at all. If you have a little bit of paint left in there, it's not fully empty yet. So don't come to me. Only if it's completely empty. Okay? So that concludes our demonstration of how to do the watercolor wash for your oil pastel cityscape.